stop it. Sit up. You too. You're in the road. Come here. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. When teens are confronted by cops, most choose to surrender and give themselves up. But what happens when they choose to fight the officers instead? Here are the five most satisfying cases when entitled teens tried to fight cops and instantly regretted it. Starting with the dramatic case of these teens who believe they could not be arrested because they were minors. That's a minor! That's called curfew! It's a minor! It's called curfew! On April the 11th of 2021, a group of officers approached a group of teenagers that were parked in a Taco Bell parking lot due to multiple noise complaints as they had been blasting loud music from their car speakers. But what officers thought would be a simple confrontation turned out to be a very eventful night. When the officers approached the teenagers and politely asked them to lower the music, they refused and ignored the officer, continuing with their disruptive behavior. At that moment, knowing that shit was about to get real, the officers returned to their car to retrieve equipment before addressing the situation. As they returned, the officers asked them to turn their music down, but they still refused. It was at that point that the police had lost all patience, and after one teen was unable to provide his identification, he would immediately be detained. This seemed to shake the wasp's nest, as it only was now that the other teens would stop ignoring the officers and exited the vehicle to confront them. However, little did the teens know that this would do anything but help their case. Right. Stay back down. Yeah, I will move nation. Stay back down. Get back. Get back down. Don't don't put your just because he didn't have no ID, that just gives you a right to just hey, un arrest yes, him? That's after yes, curfew. No. Hey, really? No. Yes. yes. You didn't know yes. he was a minor. Yes. You didn't know he was a minor. And I know you're being disorderly. You're being disorderly. While confronting the officers, the teens suddenly became aggressive, issuing violent threats and insulting the police. The officers warned them multiple times to stand down, but they became even more hostile, forcing the arrest of another teen, which ultimately pushed the rest of them over the edge. Go go now! Let's go now! Get on arrest! He is too! Arrest him! Hey, get this on video! You be disorderly! Get this on video! Quit resisting! Quit resisting! Bro, hey, hey, y'all see this? Y'all witness? Y'all see this shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll take your door. Persist the door, sorry, Conda. Get the off me, talk to me like that, dude. Get green. Off me. Got that Stop moving, it won't fall off. He can get loud music. However, the decisions of this teen would prove to be the most unwise, as he would soon be tased for trying to physically attack the officer. Stay back! Hey! Barm, arrest him, he resisted his arrest! Get my phone! Carlos! Get my you got your hands in the pocket! Get your hands in the pocket! Why the f We don't have nothing! Are you serious? Hey, y'all see this shit? Dude! Hey, There's two there, officers on here! There's two officers! Get back! You're f***ing out of your mind, bro. You see that? Bro, hey! Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. You lucky I ain't got the force to go to do something about this shit. I swear to f*** God. I swear to God, bro. Hey, Stevenson, grab his ID. That guy's ID right there. Carlos, yep, him. Close my car. Close, close the doors in the hood on my. Cause I'm probably going to jail. Oh, yes, you are. You're under arrest. Oh, it's not hard. Just to request your ID. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm trying to get. Hey, he resisted his arrest anyway. His ID, he was grabbing it. Two officers. Are you serious? He resisted your arrest. You resisted arrest. My phone's broke. It's all. That's, that's Shouldn't resist God. arrest. I swear to God. Step this way. I didn't. I didn't resist no arrest. You can take it off. It's on your body, actually. So I wouldn't pull too hard. Right here. Don't. Don't pull away from me. I wasn't pulling away. Get in the car. Open the 
Get in the car. Quit being disorderly. That's what you got arrested for to begin Shut the with. Up. Oh, Medicine. Jesus. That's. Is that what's going on here? Or is it because everybody's yelling and screaming and acting disorderly? Loud music. Hey, you're done. You're done. Hey. Loud music. Everybody's being disorderly. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's pulling away. This is how we go after out in the fucking place. This is why it's happening. It's nothing to do with race. You guys are acting ridiculous. All y'all about to lose your motherfucking job. Fuck y'all. And that's real talk, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you can't put your fucking hands on me, nigga. What you want bet? Yeah. What you want bet, man? How much you want to bet, nigga? You can't use no Wait, quit, quit cussing. Like quit cussing. After subduing and placing three of them in custody, the cops then drove them down to the station where the tased teenager would face charges for two counts of resisting arrest and one count of obstructing official business while the remaining teenagers were released on bond. Unlike these teens who got into trouble for a noise disturbance, this next group of teenagers found themselves in a much more severe predicament as they were caught possessing a firearm, placing the officers in danger. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, now you're gonna run. Okay, yeah, that's probably good for you too. On June the 30th of 2022, officers would approach a group of teenagers who were observed selling bottles of water on a busy street. When the officers politely instructed them to leave, warning them about receiving potential tickets, two of the boys became highly uncooperative and disrespectful towards the officers, causing them to snap. While the boys continued to insult the officers, one officer would exit a cruiser and immediately detain one of them. However, this would only escalate the situation further, as the rest of the teens did something nobody saw coming. Well, you're the one that said write you a ticket. Now you don't want. Now you're gonna walk away. You, so you wanna? You wanna? Better. You really wanna have a bet on that? Yeah, I guarantee. Stay out of the roadway. Stay out of the roadway. All right. You wanna deal with it? Out of the road. You too. You're in the road. Come here. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Stop resisting. You're going to get Stop resisting. You're going to get Stop resisting. You're going to get Hey, stop it. 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 Hey, stop Hey, stop it. 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 Right after the boy was detained, the rest would quickly surround the police cruiser and became highly aggressive. Feeling threatened, the officers drew their tasers, called for backup, and ended up making another arrest in the process. While detaining the suspects, the other boys continued to act aggressively towards the officers and started causing damage to their cruisers. Fortunately, the officers managed to control the situation and subdue the suspects. However, while searching their person, a surprising discovery was made. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. You're going to get tased. Stop resisting. Do you want me to go ahead and cancel the assistance? What is you detaining me for? What is you detaining me for? I got you. What is you detaining me for? What is you 
After a gun had been found, they were then placed in the cruiser and transported to the station, where they would face numerous charges. What? Yes, for obstruction. Obstruction? Yep. For how long? I don't know. It's between you and the judge. What? I told you guys multiple times. You didn't step out of the road. Stop, stop and listen. Though, though. God gave you two ears and one mouth, so you need I to use though. it. All right, can I talk to you, though? Absolutely. Once I'm done explaining this, I told you multiple times, stay out of the roadway. As soon as I got out of the roadway to detain you to get your information, which I'm allowed to do. All right, so look, you did. So I'm not, I'm not done talking. I'm not done talking. So once I tried to get your information, you continuously tried to remove your arms from my hands. That is obstruction. You are trying to. Because why is you touching me for? Because I told you guys multiple times, stay out of the street. You, you did what not you tell say? me much. I can't time. get a hold of you because you're right a minor. Right, that's right what there I said. On the, on, then on, I right hop out on you. Corner. Now all of a sudden, I you're did not, not go in the street. I was in the corner the whole and time. And you guys got a replica Glock in the bag. Like, what's up with the female? Female, she said the Glock was hers, or the bag was hers. I didn't realize it was a BB gun at first because it looks looks legit. So. That bag we mine though. The bag is mine. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you. The bag mine. Okay, it's gonna go with you. All right. That's my money, my phone, my charger, my everything in there. We got it right here. All right. I need that. Hey, free me, y'all! Unlike the last two cases where the police had to deal with large groups of teens, this next nine-year-old student was single-handedly able to cause an even greater disturbance than the groups of teens from before. Stand up for me, bud. So you come down. This is the road. He can do that because he's on the road. Just calm me down for a second. Chill. Chill. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Sit up. On February the 2nd of 2023, officers received a distress call reporting a disorderly student who was causing a significant disturbance in the school's mailroom. 
However, as officers arrived on scene, they would be confronted with a situation far worse than they could have imagined, as the boy was creating complete chaos and physically assaulting teachers who were attempting to intervene. Earlier that morning, the boy became upset with his teacher, and out of frustration entered the school mailroom and began throwing a tantrum. When the teacher saw that he might cause damage to the room, they attempted to intervene. However, as he began throwing documents around and hitting them, they had no option left but to call the police. That's okay, I get that a lot. It doesn't hurt my feelings. When the police arrived, they found the boy in the midst of his disruptive behavior. Their attempts to get him to stop would be met with a mixture of refusal, throwing books, and doing what his mother had told him never to do, using the B word. Realizing that he would not be easily calmed down, the officers then decided to handcuff him. However, this only led to the boy becoming more violent as he began kicking officers in an attempt to free himself. Just calm me down for a second. Chill. 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 Stop it. Sit up. Yeah. Chill. Chill. Just relax. Get me out! 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 Get me Putting everyone Shut up! Shut up! You need to hear it. You. It's okay, I get that a lot. Ooh, We're trying to figure out why you're so stop. upset. Ow! Stop pulling. Stop! Stop pulling. Ow! Stop picking at my hand. Ow! Just relax. No! Hold it me! If you relax, we can talk to you and you can Shut talk to up! That's why you're not going anywhere. You know, in another situation, you would be in very big trouble for hitting a police officer. Shut up! Just letting you know, the older you get, it's going to be very harder for you to be big at these behaviors. <sighs> You're doing really good with Officer Tenet. She gives you stickers, she sees, she asks you how your day is, and then this is how you treat us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You can relax, we can take the cuffs off, but you're literally endangering everybody here by hitting everybody. And they don't come to work to get beat up. They come to work to keep you safe and teach you. That's fine. You don't care, but you can go to jail for things like that. And I don't want to see you go to jail for things like that. Okay? You can get you can get in trouble for hitting staff too. Okay, I've done it since freak it. That's not nice. Why do you do those things? Because they teach you holes. But why? They're only trying to teach you. Okay. But we want to get you off those cuffs, so I mean, you're trying to get off the cuffs. We can easily open them if you just comply and talk to everybody to see what's going on with you while you're having a rough morning. You're Let's trying really that. hard to take those cuffs off, and we want to take it off, trust me. Really? We just want to make sure everybody's safe. So can you talk to us? After a few moments of tantrums, the officers managed to calm the boy down, releasing him from the handcuffs and allowing him to speak with his teacher. Following a discussion for several moments, he was then taken to the guidance counselor's office and no legal punishment would be made. And while the boy only had to go to the counselor's office, this next teenager would get himself three severe charges for assaulting his teacher and fighting the police. What is you not understanding that? When I'm feeling myself, I'm gonna come down. What is you not understanding that? Lower your voice. On September the 24th of 2022, officers would be summoned to East Ridge High School by a teacher who had reported a student that had become confrontational after not participating in gym class. When the officers arrived at the school, they initially tried to handle the situation by listening to and talking with both parties. However, things took a turn for the worse when the teenager began fighting the officers instead. Oh, what happened? Uh, we're playing kickball and he wouldn't play. So as soon as the basketball's come out, he comes out here and wants to play basketball. So I come up to him, I'm like, Tar, you said you were sick. He said, don't, don't approach me like that. I said, I'm a teacher. I can approach you how I want to. I, went, I didn't do this respectfully. I just asked him a question. And then I, I, I try to go over here. He goes over here. And I try to walk him outside to get him one-on-one. -on -one. And he's at the basketball and he comes to me and I grab the basketball. And then he sort of bucks on me and comes at me into my face. And 
He won't talk to me. And he says, you're a racist and I'll kick your ass. Quote. You can ask Katie. I ain't, I ain't put up that shit. But I want to have a conversation in front of you with him. Because he got to know he was wrong and talking to him. I just got to switch to this class because... Earlier that day, the gym teacher had gathered students on the basketball court, and they all appeared to be ready to participate, except for one 18-year-old teenager. When the teacher approached the student and asked why he was not participating, he stated that he wasn't feeling well. After a few moments, he got up and began taking part, and when the teacher questioned why he chose to participate, he suddenly took offense and became confrontational. Recognizing his aggression as a potential danger, the teacher then promptly called the police. When the police would arrive, they had questioned the gym teacher and turned their attention to the teen. During questioning about the incident, the teenager suddenly became agitated, raising his voice at the teacher. But when the officer had attempted to calm him down, the teenager simply snapped. In the same respect they treat me. Don't call me racist. As a teacher, you're my student. I ask you a question, and you could not answer it. And you just got really upset. That's where we're at. That's, what That's exactly what I did from the moment I came in this okay. class. You had some only when I asked you to open up the door. What, what Your door? question was regarding to why, why this, why that, and I gave you a simple question in return, but you wanted to go further with the, um, with the, the, the only question I asked you was, question. the only question I asked you was, why could you not play our game? I'm not going to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to I'll let you talk, I'll let you say what you had to say, what you said over there, supposedly, that's not what you said, you came to me aggressively and I said, I'm talking in a calm, in a calm voice, you still had your voice raised while I'm telling you, trying to explain to you why I came down from the bleachers, but you still had your voice up, see, this is why my voice gonna stay this strong, because I'm gonna show you how you was doing me right there, I would keep my tone like this, I asked you a question, I'm like, why are you not sick now when you were it sick It don't earlier? matter. That I matter. gave you your I'm answer. Argue. I'm not arguing. And you still kept coming at me aggressive. And I let it go and I walked off, minding my own business as I was doing. And then I walked up there on the bleachers and sat down. The reason why you asked me, why was I on the bleachers to begin with, right? Minding yeah. my own business once again. So why are you coming at me aggressive? Okay, That's I'm my a, question. I'm a PE teacher. Why? You were, you, you, why? Okay, you asked me a question, I'm going to answer it. I'm a PE teacher. Our two classes are playing a kickball game against each other. Coach Murley versus Coach Mouser. I look up and you're in the bleachers. That don't sense. got nothing to do with me feeling sick. I didn't know you were sick at that time. That's why I asked you the question. I'm like, why are you in the bleachers? How I'm many times kickball? I got to tell you? I was okay, if you're not understanding that. It's all right. When I'm feeling myself, I'm going to come down. What is you not understanding that? Lower your voice. Lower your voice. Oh, I'm just excusing myself. Anything else you want to come from it. I don't if you want to talk to right anybody, I, I, I got a lawyer, anything, but you're not going to come in no type of way and disrespect hold on, me. Hold on, hold on. Get your hands off me. Hold on. Get your hands off me. I said, hold on. You got five seconds to get your what hands off me. What the fuck are you going to do? You got five seconds what, to what get you your hands do? on me. What you going to do? You got five seconds you got, to get your hands on me. What you going to do? I ain't going to do doing nothing. You going to exactly. get your ass off, up off of me and get out my presence like you got some sense. Be a good citizen like you is. How about you be a good citizen not raise your voice? With that badge on your hook. And causing a big scene inside the gym. No, I ain't causing you're really pushing for disorderly conduct. I ain't pushing nothing. You want to push some? All right. Like I said. Stay right Okay. No. Come on, man, get your stuff. Let's go. I ain't going over. Yeah. You are. I'm not going over. Yes, like you I are. Said, why is you following because me? Because even Mr. Perry wants you to get your stuff because he wants you to meet him over there. So let's go. I don't care about what Mr. Perry said. Let's go. I'm in this class. I just got in this class. Okay. I don't give let's a go. fuck what you say to me, dog. Let's go. Get Come the on. fuck out my face. Come on, man. You get finna take a ride to jail, face. dude. I ain't fucking with you. Who the fuck is you talking about riding right? jail? I ain't this you. shit to begin with. It's called disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. You ain't and let's go. He showed no signs of stopping, and the officer then decided to arrest him. But as one would expect, he began to resist arrest rather violently, kicking and hitting the officers in the process. Do it. I got you. See where you go. Cancel it. Get out of here. Okay.
despite the officer's attempts to make him comply, the teenager persisted in his childish attitude, standing his ground and causing further frustration. And when the officers had reached their limit, they then resorted to using pepper spray on him and contacted his parents. Shortly thereafter, his father would arrive, and after seeing his father, he immediately calmed down, allowing police to remove residual pepper spray from his face. Take it off. Take the bag off. No right to be slung Take the bag the off. Take the bag off. You're refusing a lawful order for me to be able to put you in handcuffs. Take the bag off. Take the bag off. Take it off. Take the bag off. Take it off. Take the bag off. Take the bag off. I'm going to take the bag off. We can get you decontaminated once the backpack is off. Take the bag off. Take it off. I know it sucks. If you would have just listened, this, couldn't have, this wouldn't have happened. That's all. That's all you had to do was listen. You're still going to resist. You want it some more, dude, because I... That's fine, I got a whole can. Take the bag off, man. That's all you have to do is take the bag off. Take the bag off. Why is you harassing me? I told you to take Why the bag off. Why is you harassing me? I got you on camera. That's fine, dude. Take the bag off. Take it off. I can't breathe. If you take the bag off, we'll get you decontaminated. That's all it is. I can't breathe. Ah! I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Take, give me your hand, man. It's closing. Give me a nurse up here. It's closing my window. Give me a nurse up here. Roll over, man. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over and sit up. Roll over and sit up. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Roll over and sit up, dude. That is crazy. You get his eyes wiped off with a paper towel. No, he's still refusing to stand up. He was then taken into custody where he would face charges for disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and assault. And while he only assaulted his teacher and the officer, the actions of this next entitled teenager almost resulted in the deaths of multiple people. You were called in as a possible drunk driver? Oh, damn. Oh, scary. She was going to kill people like five or six times on her way home. She went all the way in the left lane and was head on with cars that were parked on scenic going south. And there was a police officer on the... Yeah, that was me. That was you? Uh-huh. Well, she was like twirling her hair. Mm. Like not a care in the world, you know? On April 23rd of 2022 in Santa Rosa, Florida, officers would respond to the report of a reckless driver who had almost caused multiple collisions on the road. Yeah, yeah. what kind of errands are you running? You know, grocery shopping, killing animals, just adult, adult things. Yeah. So where were you coming from? If we're being honest, I am, um, on the way to pick up on my friend and because like I don't like doing things by myself because I have anxiety so I like people coming on rides with me. Upon their arrival the police suspected that she might be driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol which would explain incoherent and dangerous behavior. Do you have a prescription for Xanax bars? No? Have you taken any? All right. I can get some gloves because I believe they're sitting right there in the driver's seat. For me, it pretty much stays simple. I don't know when I'm approaching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm 
ma'am, is your ID in your purse? Yes, it is. All right, I'll get it. Jimmy, I'll get it. Hey, I said I'll get it. Stand over there at the end of your car. Do you hear me? Okay, but if you were more respectful about it, if I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, if we're all humans here, if you were more respectful about it, I'm just saying. Where's your idea? Is it in uh, here? Can I look for my wallet? Well, like, why oh, I got it. look for my wallet? No, if the thing is, if that's my property, you have no choice. Actually... I do because I found freaking Xanax bars on your driver's seat. If you want to explain something, explain those. Girl, the fact that you're just looking through my stuff. Yeah. They were in plain view. Yep. That makes a difference. Oh, were they so, in plain view? Yeah, your butt was covered. Okay. When officers searched her car, they then discovered Xanax pills on the driver's seat, confirming suspicions of drug impairment. However, when they asked if she had a prescription for the drug, she failed to present one. For obvious reasons, this would raise suspicion, and in that moment, she realized she was in serious trouble. So, in a desperate attempt to hide more evidence, she tried to force her way back into her car, but was quickly restrained by the officers. When instructed to move away from her car so that officers could conduct a more thorough inspection, she demanded to know the reason for her arrest. The officer would explain the reasoning, politely requesting space to proceed with their investigation. But her behavior made it extremely difficult for the officers as she repeatedly attempted to go back into her car. Do me a favor and go sit on the bumper of that car over there. Um, what? Okay, I just want to know what I was doing in particular. Okay, the reason you were pulled over, um, you were called in as a possible drunk driver and from the people that were calling in said that you hit multiple things. I haven't been to the other side of your car or really inspected your car yet to verify that, but um, you were found you're, You were found here. She's getting out with you. We, you were called in as a drunk driver, okay? Upon contact, she's finding things that are illegal in your car. So this is kind of the development that we're going, okay? So for right now, while she's doing her job, we're gonna give her some space and we're gonna go sit at the front of that car, okay? Okay. After conducting their investigation, the police would notice dents on the vehicle, and when questioned about them, she began to lie. They then asked her to take a sobriety test, and as one would expect, she failed the test miserably, which immediately led to police placing her under arrest. But let's just say she wasn't going to give up without a fight. I do. Um, one day I came back from work, like, just like, was like, getting off and shit. Mm -hmm. That was missing. No cooler hat was missing. It was missing. Um, this side of my car, uh, we have a Chevrolet truck that's in its vintage. Who's we? Like, it's my grandpa's like gotcha. old school Chevrolet truck. Gotcha. So it's like you know, it's a big as fuck. And then my grandpa got like a Jeep Cherokee mm -hmm. that's also just like built in the 1990s. And then they got a sidekick two seat, okay, sixty or whatever it's called. So, yeah. Um. So, so like, yeah. Do I need to get that thing? No, I'm just curious. I'm talking to you briefly here. When I got here, I saw your demeanor, your actions, and all that stuff, okay? Um, now, when I talk to you even more, and I'm looking at some indicators right now, okay? I'm looking at your pupils, I'm looking at your eyes, and I think that you might be on the influence of some type of narcotic. Not alcohol, but I believe in narcotic. Okay? Um, so, based off of what I'm seeing so far, would you be willing to do a field sobriety test to dispel my suspicions that you're under the influence of any type of narcotic? You willing to do that? Do you have any injuries that I need to know about? Head injuries? Like, have you had any previous concussions? Not that I medically seek attention for. Yes. I mean, uh, medical wise, might have had a concussion, never once. Have you had, have you had, had a concussion within the past, let's say, 10, 24 hours? 10, 24 hours? Um. Hey, 
down. Yeah, she's straight. Hmm? She's good. Can I touch my kitty, bro? It's all on camera. I'm going to use it. Oh, you guys are going to steal my lavender? Yeah. After several moments of resisting arrest, she was eventually placed in the police car and then driven to the station. And on the way, she continued to be disruptive, damaging the vehicle and insulting the officer to the point where he actually had to pull over and restrain her in hopes that she would calm down. Oh, yeah. oh you're going to tie me down, sir? As for her actions, she would be placed on probation for a period of two years after facing charges for her DUI and possession of harmful drugs without a prescription. If you enjoy true crime content like this, make sure you're subscribed to see more.